began a story. It began a story about uh, a couple friends. Anybody remember their names? Can anybody tell me? Who was the name of the boy? Just shout it out. Hands in their laps, quiet, <coughs> back is back to the seat, listening, paying attention. We're watching right now. Last time we began a story about two friends, Bo and Crystal. And Bo's dad was the commander. They both lived on an army base. And he was the commander of the army, of uh, the other army base, excuse me. And they were bored because they had both moved from other states. And, and they had uh, uh, come there and they had been looking for a long time. Remember that? They were looking for a long time for friends. And they finally found each other. And we said last night that what happened was they got a little bored. And so they went up to Bo's uh, dad's office. He was the commander uh, of the uh, army base. And they were looking around his desk. And Crystal was sitting behind the desk, you know, kind of like this. And just kind of asked who's the commander. Because it seems like women always want to do that for some reason. But anyway, and uh, so uh, they were sitting behind the desk. And, and uh, they, they were uh, uh, looking around. They saw a little button. Remember that button? And, they, and, and so we left off where they had pushed the button. And out of the side of the desk, opened up a drawer. They were a little nervous, a little scared, but they thought, I wonder what it is. I, that's kind of weird that, that, a, that a drawer would pop out of the side of the desk. And they, they, they remember they left off, and they were looking down. They were about to look at what they saw was an envelope. It was, a, it was kind of a manila envelope, you know, one of those ones you see at school or in an office place. And it was, it was tied up. And on the, on the front of that envelope, it said these words, Hot Secret Operation. Top secret operation. They thought, man, we shouldn't have found this. And they got a little nervous. And Bo was kind of getting a little nervous because he knew his dad uh, didn't want him to be there. And it was kind of an accident that they had him uh, across his envelope. And, and so they said, let's, let's just push the drawer back in. And let's get out of here. Let, let's get away. So, so you know, nobody knows. And Chris was like, no, no, no. Let's check it out. Maybe it's something we can help with. Maybe it's something that we can do. I and mean, we're bored here all the time. Maybe this is a secret mission that we can go on. And so, so let's open. So Bo got the envelope and he began to open it up. And he looked inside. And inside were these papers, these documents, and all over the documents it said top secret, classified, top secret, classified. And they looked and they saw on the line, they said the name of this operation is Operation Salvation. They said, well, I never heard of Operation Salvation. Hey, they said, oh, I, my dad talks about the operations all the time at home, but I never heard this one. This must be a top secret one. And they began to look down the paper a little bit more. And as they began to look down, they saw step number one, step number two, step number three, all the way down of what they needed to do to accomplish this operation. They thought, man, well, you know, we're bored. We don't, we don't have anything to do during the day. So maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll take the papers and we'll go and we'll try to complete this mission. That way, he, the, my dad will be so proud of us that we did this. It, it doesn't look hard. And so they said, okay, let's go. And they, they grabbed the papers and they, they got back on their bikes and they ran down the street a little bit. And they got to a place where they could open up the documents and begin to read. And it said, it said number one, it said step one, to complete this operation, go to the mess hall. Well, the mess hall, they've been there a lot of times. The mess hall was a place on an army base where, where, where you go and eat and you have food and, and things like that. And you go and, and have lunch and dinner and all these different things after you have a long day. And said, so go to the mess hall and in the kitchen behind the stove is your first clue. They said, okay, maybe I don't understand what this is all about. So they thought, well, should we do it? They looked at each other, Bo and Crystal, they were kind of scared. They thought, I don't know, but man, I think we can complete this operation, you know? Maybe we can be good soldiers. And maybe we can go, go and get this job done. And so they, they, they said, let's go over. So they pedaled as fast as they could over to the mess hall. And they got to the mess hall. They kind of opened the door a little bit. It was dark in there. No one was in there. It wasn't time to eat. They opened the door. Kind of looked in. It was dark. Looked around, they couldn't really see anything, but they knew where the kitchen was, and so they made their way back towards the kitchen, and, and they, they, they head back, they head back to the back of the kitchen, and Bo reached over and he got the click the light off. He went and looked and sat in that kitchen. He thought I've been here before, but man, I had never thought to look behind the stove. And so they, they went over to the stove, and, and again, as they stood there in front of the stove, they thought, man, maybe we shouldn't do this. Maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe we should just go and turn around. They said, no, we can be a help to the army. Maybe we can complete this operation. And so they began to, as much as they could, because they were kind of young and kind of small, they began to move that stove. Uh, and they moved a little bit on the other side. Uh, get that stove. Uh, and then they uh, and they said, can you see back there? Yeah, they kind of jumped on the stove and began to look behind it. They couldn't see it. They had to pull back more. Uh, 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 and, uh, and finally they got it to where Crystal kind of slipped back behind there. And she began to look around and she said, I don't see anything. Where, what, what's it say? It said, look, it 
said, look, in the bottom on the back of the stove, and she looked down, and she saw a little piece of paper. Kind of like another little tiny envelope taped to the back of the stove. She thought that was weird. Why would anyone do this? Maybe they had come across a top secret mission that they weren't so part of. And so she reached down, and she opened she opened that letter, she looked at Paul, she said, do you want to keep doing this? And he said, yeah, let's do it. And so they opened up the letter, and they, uh, they reached inside, and there was a little paper that said, if you choose to accept this mission, you will experience great danger. They thought, oh, no. It, they turned around the paper, and they said, to accept this mission, flick the light on the kitchen two times. And we'll know that you've accepted the mission. They said, wait, somebody, look, does somebody know we're here? I, I thought no one was here. I, I didn't know what was going on. And so they, they, they began to look. They got a little scared. They thought, but I don't know. I want to be a brave soldier. And they said, oh, man, it would be great to go on, a, on an adventure, on, a, on an operation. That would be awesome. We'd be heroes. And my dad would be so proud of me. He wants me to be a soldier. And so maybe I should accept it. And Crystal said, he looked at Crystal and Paul looked at Crystal. And they said, hey, you want to accept the mission? You want to be good soldiers? And they said, let's do it. And so they got that piece of paper, they pushed that stove back, put it back, they went over to the light, they flicked the light one time, two times. And as soon as they flicked it the second time, the door to the front of the mess hall opened up. They thought, they, they kind of they kind of got a little scared, they said, but who's there? Who's there? And they looked, they, and they, they said, it's me. He said, who? And the man said, it's Come back tomorrow night and find out what we saw. All right, okay, all right, tomorrow.